That's not the way it reads on the paper. But anyway, it's a double header. But we're saying both brothers have twins. Is that what you mean? No, they're just two twins. The users, are, I mean, the used boys. <laughs> oh, they're twins. The others I are see. just brothers. Oh, I see. Okay. Now I got it. And Gregorio Benitez is the boy's father. He's the manager of Esteban de Jesus, who fought Duran for the lightweight title not too long ago. All on home box office next Monday night. Antifermo and Moyer. Antifermo in the red trunks, Moyer in the black trunks. Some fast left hook that Antifermo has, Floyd. At this point, it looks to me like Antifermo is just trying to get one in. I think at this point, he's lost practically all his respect for his opponent, Moya. Right, he's just walking in. Now he's switching his attack to the body as well as the head. It's a one-sided fight right now, Floyd. Now I think I see the start of a cut on Moyer's left eyebrow. It's just like a pinpoint right now, Floyd. Half a minute to go on the round. Uh, do I see a cut on the right eye of Antifermo? Yes, Don. just above it. I just noticed it too, Floyd. Oh, it's, a, it's turning into a bad cut. A bad cut. They got a lot of good ground six. Let's see if that cut above Antifermo's eyes eye reopens, or if Moyer's cut above his left eye gets any worse. Antifermo in the red trunks, Moyer in the black. Wow. Antifermo caught him with a beautiful right hand coming in. I don't know whether or not it hurt Moyer, but it was right on the chin. Out Floyd, he knows how badly he's cut, or could be cut. I think he's trying to get this over with in a hurry. McCann, he gets him apart. Somebody behind me just yelled to Danny Moyer to use your head. I don't know what that means, whether to use it to butt or to think. I got an idea what he means for <laughs> I 
just don't think Moyer fights that way, Floyd. I've never seen him do that. Just in case the gloves touch the canvas, and Afermo's gloves are wiped off by the referee, Arthur McKinney. 30 seconds to go in the round. Fermo is winning the fight by a wide margin as we come up to round seven, and yet he is in danger of losing because of cuts around his eyes, particularly the left eye. And Fermo, the red trunks. He got by the sixth round, apparently, without any damage to the left. Now it's round seven of a 10-rounder. There must be cuts on both eyes. Uh, they have medication on both eyes. We know there's a cut on one, but we weren't sure about the other. But there must be a cut on the other also. Well, that's unfortunate, not only for this fight, but for the future. If he's going to get cut every time he's in a tough fight, he might just as well pack it in, Floyd. Uh, that's right, Don. Yeah, I saw him go into through 10 rounds with John L. Sullivan and beat him easily without getting cut. You know, many times a fighter will sustain a cut, and many times he'll go back into the gymnasium after a week or two, not giving the cut enough time to heal, and he'll start working out again. Right. And then uh, that weakens the area, and then it makes it prone to prone the cuts uh, whenever he has a fight. This round about half over. A minute to go in round seven. like wrestling, doesn't it? The Hughes brothers and the Benitez brothers. Round eight. Danny Moyer, the black trunks. Vito Antifermo, the red. Looks like Moyer may have a cut now. I see blood on him. Moyer seems cut around the right eye now. Earlier he was cut around the left. So they've both been cut around both eyes.
Two minutes left in round eight of a 10 rounder. say about Moya, he takes a good punch. Oh yes, he certainly does. He hasn't got the snap he used to have in his left jab though, Floyd. One minute to go in round eight of a 10 rounder. There's a knees of Ted coming off the left glove of uh, Antifermo. The referee hasn't seen it yet. Now he says that he's gonna tear it off. Half a minute to go on the round. The best punch of the fight by the other fellows. Moya holds on. Turned his head around. Yeah, Moyo was hurt that time, really hurt. Round nine of a 10 rounder. Ito Adafermo winning all by himself in the red trunks. Denny Moyer in the black trunks with the white stripe. Moyer hasn't landed a damaging punch the entire evening. Uh, no, he hasn't, uh, Don. It uh, looks a bit one-sided to me. Two minutes left in this round. Round nine of a 10-rounder. Firma got the best of that one too. Oh yes. Moyer's game, as you said, Floyd, he fights right back. And he also takes a heck of a punch. A minute to go in round nine. I think at this point, Moyer has given up all hopes of winning. I think it's just a matter of lasting, not being stopped. Yes, I guess he lost, he must have lost hope when Andrew Fermo's cut didn't get any worse. In fact, it hasn't uh, reopened. He was cut in the sixth round. 30 seconds to go in this round. Round nine of a 10 rounder. round nine. 
Tenth and final round. Arthur McCanty has them touch gloves. Vito Antifermo and Denny Moyer both with cuts above each eye. Antifermo the red trunks, Moyer the black. Antifermo winning going away. minutes left in this 10th and final round. There have been no knockdowns, and nobody has been seriously hurt at any time. And Fermo's way ahead, I think. A minute to go in this fight. Thirty seconds to go in the fight. Moyer gets a new cut beside the left eye. Final round is over. Talk to each other briefly. Moyer back to his corner. Victor went a fermo to his. And he did last the 10 rounds without getting knocked out. That's yes. Danny Moyer. Yes, and then the remarkable thing about Antifermo is he got cut in the fifth round, not the sixth, the fifth. I said the sixth earlier. A very bad cut around the right eye and uh, it never bled again, Floyd, that I remember. He sustained a later cut around the left. Apparently, that Artie Curley is quite a cut man. Do you know him? Uh, I've heard of him. Uh, I've yeah. heard he was a very good cut man. It's very important to have a good cut man in the corner uh, because a cut like that could continuously bleed throughout the fight with the referee or the doctor eventually stopping it. Right. Here's the decision. The winner on a unanimous decision, Vito Antwerpen. It certainly looks as though young Vito Antifermo has quite a future ahead of him, doesn't it? He had quite an opponent in there tonight, young Denny Moyer of Portland, Oregon, and he came through with a handsome win. Don't forget, boxing will continue through the facilities of Home Box Office two weeks from tonight when the story of the heavyweight championship of the world will be presented to you along with the story of Floyd Patterson, who's such a fixture on home box office fights. As for next Monday night, all-star wrestling starting at 8.30, featuring Bruno Sammartino. For home box office, I'm Marty Gluckman. Good night, and stay tuned now for Blazing Saddles, rated R.